Hi, welcome to SAP MM training class. In this session, we are going to discuss goods receipts and goods issues. Under this subject matter of discussion, the topics we are going to cover overview of inventory management, goods movements, documents concept, missing part check, GR, GI slip numbers, serial numbers in goods movement, exclusive late materials block, planning goods receipts, under that goods receipts for purchase orders, goods receipts for orders, other goods receipts. All these are in part 1. In part 2 regarding the goods issues, goods issues general, goods issues without reference, entering for scrap, drying of sample, goods issue with reference to reservations, goods issue with reference to orders, goods issue with reference uh, to bill of materials, availability check, dynamic stock balance display. The customization part, I am going to explain at adequate places wherever it is necessary because separating and showing in one place may cause confusions. To avoid that, at appropriate place and explain the customization also. Now we will see overview of inventory management. Let us consider a block diagram of this MM module and logistic systems inventory management. Let us consider this area is logistic systems under this there are several modules in that one of the materials module is there under this there are three sub modules or components we can call there are three sub modules and in that inventory management is part of the materials management module and all this inventory management is fully integrated with logistics system the purchasing component and logistics invoice verification also the sub modules under the materials management when a material is procured internally or externally the material is received in the inventory management by goods receipt the materials are procured on the basis of the requirements determined by the MRP materials requirements planning the delivery is entered in the inventory management as a goods receipt the material is stored and managed under inventory management until it is delivered. Let us see the flow of the materials after receiving the goods receipt in the same time the invoice also will be received and it is verified with the logistics invoice verification component LIV component is also integrated with the inventory management and it is going to verify the 
with the goods it has received with respect to this invoice receipt later taken into account of financial accounting until then means the inventory management goods is received and the material is stored and managed under inventory management and delivered to a customers through the sales and distribution component or used for internal purposes like consumption that means the color is shown same color that means consumption means is is a production also it can be sold or it can be consumed from the by the production during all transactions so during all transactions inventory management access the master data and transaction data such as purchasing documents shared by all logistics components so now this inventory management has these four types of moments events happens in this one is goods receipts another is goods issues stock transfer and transfer postings these are the major things in this so we are going to study about goods receipts and goods issues in this session now the stock transfer and transfer posting will be a separate session as we have discussed in the overview these are the topics goods receipts and goods issues we have seen all of them and we are going to see now in this goods receipt we will see now creating purchase order by entering goods receipt slash n mb01 receiving the material goods received for purchase order this mb01 it's an initial screen in this initial screen actually we suppose to give the purchase order this command is almost same as the uh, my go here we are not we have made a setting we are not going to give any purchase order purchase order will be created automatically so to do that we have entered the plant we entered the storage location and movement type we are taking as 101 we can also use 161 501 also we can take it but the setting should be made to those goods moments now i will enter here you can see here the bottom message is telling that purchase order is created automatically because of those settings we have made in the customization 
the message is uh, giving us it can create the purchase order all right now we enter it we can take the vendor is this so there must be a setting for the vendor also we cannot create a purchase order for any goods received for any vendor so this vendor is set it for the automatic po and we will take a material and this material also any material we cannot take it material setting also will be there so this material is set it to that automatic po and quantity i will take as uh, 101 only here this time here the other fields are not important because we have made the info record so that's why it will bring the automatically and we are not managing the batches so now i will enter the document is okay ready to post i'm posting it the document is created here the material document is created so this material document is created automatically purchase order also that purchase order when we come to know so that means we have to go back to that purchase uh, that material document let us go in a change mode uh, this is the material document just now we have created open so you can see here the material document overview in this there is a po here 45000017551 this is the number which is created by the automatically system the sequence for taking the material is first po purchase order later goods receipt we will do it but here the first purchasing order stage we have directly taken by the goods receipt itself now if we wanted to see this purchase order we can open the purchase order here go to environment and open the purchase order this is the purchase order even if we wanted to see this purchase order in our normal uh view let us go to slash n me21 n is our t code for opening the purchase order now here we have create in the create mode we will go to here last one is 51 number you can see here the system automatically created purchase order as usual what we have done everything is there here you can see it has selected ers invoice receipt tax code also it has selected and material we have given 101 just like the moment type only we have taken just now price it has taken so plant it has taken 1000 storage location also we have given 0001 and purchase organization it has taken 1000 purchasing group it has taken 100 company code is 1000 so these are all data generally we were giving it 
in the purchase order while we are creating the purchase order but in the MB01 we have not given all this data we have given just we have given let us go to the MB01 what we have given MB01 what we have given is here plant storage location and when it is gone inside vendor we have given material we have given quantity we have given that's it one two three four five datas we have given it so the other one purchase organization from where it has taken it has not give, been given that is this is a question purchase organization purchasing group these datas from where it has taken and tax code the other informations from where it has taken is these are taken from the vendor master the other one like uh, purchase organization is taken from the info records as well as the standard purchase organization is assigned to plant if we have selected a plant in that command then plant whichever is uh, it is been assigned to a standard purchase organization that standard purchase, purchase organization will come take it will take here number one point and whereas this price has taken from the info record net price whichever it has come from the info record and the vendor code is also given in the info record so that is the how it has been extracted and created the purchase order our customization of this setting or as uh, we will see in the you can see here from goods received we need if we wanted to get a purchase order automatically 